Hey, this is Ryan from D3 Technologies. In this video, I'm going to take a look at cross sections inside of Fusion 360. So we're going to use the Autodesk Ember 3D printer model. And first thing I'm going to do is just turn off some of these main sub-assemblies. And we're just going to be working with part of the build assembly in here. So cross sections in Fusion are pretty easy to use. We're going to find them in the inspect panel, section analysis. And I've added, by clicking on the curved arrow, I've added it to my main toolbar because I use this quite a bit. Section analysis is very easy to start. We basically just need to pick a face that we'd like to start our offset from. And then we get quick, easy handles, which we can drag to move planar or rotate the cross-section position. We also have a couple of options in the dialog box which are pretty useful. Um, you can manually control the angle and distance here. And we also have some options for the section itself. For example, you can take the hatching off if you just prefer solid colors. And then we can also do a custom color instead of a alternate, an alternate color. Now once you've activated the section analysis, in order to work with it some more, we need to figure out where does that live in our browser. So you'll notice my subassembly does not have an analysis folder. The analysis folder will always be at the very top level assembly of the design you're working on. And here we see in the analysis folder, sure enough, section 5 was created. As I continue to create additional analyses, this time instead of offsetting from a face. I'm going to go ahead and pick one of my origin planes. Just section off of that. The section will be added to the list with its own toggle. Now here's something I've done before. If you turn off the analysis at the folder level, it can be a little irritating when you go to create a new section. As soon as you create and activate that section, it will immediately disappear. Why? Because the entire folder is turned off. So it's much preferred to toggle the sections individually with their light bulbs. You'll notice only one section can even be active at once. Another quick tip, you notice that I can use the origin planes for creating sections. Sometimes the origin plane is harder to get to than just creating your own offset. So for example, if I want a mid plane right through the middle of this, and I happen to know my design, I might pick this starting plane. And that plane is actually 73 millimeters, so with a quick negative, and I'm going to divide that into 36.5, it's actually much quicker to get an origin, you know, a middle section analysis that way than it is to go dig for the origin folder in some cases. So hopefully some of those tips helped you out with creating cross sections. If you have any questions or need more information, as always, feel free to reach out to our team. Thanks.